In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NBA game happening on May 28, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game. So two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NBA game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Dallas Mavericks The Dallas Mavericks are set to host the Minnesota Timberwolves in a crucial Game 4 showdown on Tuesday night at the American Airlines Center. The Mavericks are on the brink of securing their spot in the NBA Finals, needing just one more win, while the Timberwolves aim to make history by becoming the first NBA team to overcome a 0-3 deficit in a series. Although Minnesota won three of their regular season matchups against Dallas, the playoffs have seen the Mavericks take control, with the first three games being highly competitive competitive, this game promises to be a must-watch for sports fans, potentially serving as the Western Conference finale. Minnesota has been competitive in all three games so far, and with a few favorable bounces, they could easily be leading the series 2-1 instead of trailing 0-3. Despite playing on the road, the Timberwolves will strive to move past the setbacks of the first three games and focus on the form that earned them a 31-17 record away from home during the regular season. However, their confidence and momentum might be shaken, especially with a a relatively inexperienced roster, they have shown resilience throughout the season, but failing to bounce back in this game could mean squandering a prime opportunity. Minnesota's defense, which has been elite throughout the season, ranking among the league's best, has struggled in this series. Dallas's strong one-on-one -on -one play has posed significant challenges, and the Timberwolves must find ways to secure individual stops in Game 4. Offensively, Minnesota needs more production from their stars, with Carl Anthony Towns and Ruddy Gobert combining for only 23 points turning what should be a front-court advantage into a disadvantage. Despite these issues, Minnesota has been competitive in all three games and has a chance to turn things around in Game 4 and extend the series. The Mavericks, although not playing their best basketball throughout the series, have managed to secure three wins in three games. Sometimes, timing and clutch performances can outweigh consistent excellence, as seen in the first two games. Game 3 saw a more dominant performance from Dallas, and playing at home in Game 4 should help them maintain their momentum and confidence. Dallas boasted a 30-18 home record during the regular season and has been even stronger at home in the playoffs. They have been one of the league's best teams over the last two months, and with only one win needed to reach the NBA Finals, they are keen to avoid being on the wrong side of history by ending the series on Tuesday night. Offensively, the Mavericks continue to thrive with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving excelling in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Their ability to both shoot and penetrate puts significant pressure on opposing defenses, a trend likely to continue into Game 4. The frontcourt has also been a major advantage for Dallas, though Minnesota's stars are expected to step up eventually. Dallas aims to put their best foot forward and avoid the pressure that could build if they lose this game. Currently, the Mavericks have Maxi Kleber and Luka Doncic listed as questionable. It's reasonable to expect Doncic to play, given he appeared less hindered in Game 3 compared to Game 2. With their backs against the wall, down 3-0, the Minnesota Timberwolves are determined to avoid the fate of the Indiana Pacers, who were swept in the Eastern Conference Finals. The series has been disastrous for the Timberwolves, particularly for their top players, Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards is shooting 38% for the series, while Towns is at a disappointing 27.8% from the field and an abysmal 13% from beyond the arc. Poor offensive execution in the fourth quarter has cost them games, with their offensive rating dropping from 114.3 to just 95.5 in the final 12 minutes. However, there's still hope if Minnesota makes the necessary adjustments. Derek Lively's injury could open up the interior for Minnesota, which is 10-4 against the spread in their last 14 road games. Lively's absence should not be underestimated, as he and Gafford have played pivotal roles in stretching Minnesota's defense and punishing their two-big-man approach. Despite Dallas outscoring 
outscoring Minnesota by only 13 points across the series. Caution is still advised for the Mavericks heading into Game 4. Doncic and Irving have been spectacular, averaging over 60 points combined, while Edwards and Towns are averaging 37 points per game. However, at some point, their production might decline, raising questions about how the rest of the Mavericks would respond if either Doncic or Irving had an off night. The Timberwolves, known for their stout defense all season, will need to rely on that strength to secure the stops necessary for a win. With Lively potentially out, Dallas loses a key lob threat, which has been a challenge for Minnesota. The Timberwolves will focus on finding success in the front court, as they did in the regular season when they won three out of four meetings. Despite Dallas's momentum, Minnesota's impressive season suggests they won't go down without a fight. I believe the Timberwolves are too talented to be swept out of the Western Conference Finals and expect them to cover the spread and potentially win Game 4. Thus, the Minnesota Timberwolves to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. For the Timberwolves to win any games in this series, their defense must perform at the level it did in their victories against the Nuggets. So far, their defense has not been up to par, which explains their 0-3 deficit and why the over has hit in all three games. The oddsmakers have set the projected total at 210.5 points, 7 points less than the series average of 218 points per game. Six of Minnesota's eight postseason wins have come by holding opponents under 100 points. With their season on the line, they will likely try to tighten up their defense and and slow down the pace, which dropped to 87.9 in Game 3. The Mavericks will also need to adjust to playing without Lively for a full 48 minutes, which will require some rotation changes from head coach Jason Kidd. Despite the overhitting in the first three games, Minnesota knows they need to control the pace and get this game played in the half court to secure their first win of the series. The potential loss of Lively could reduce Dallas's easy lobs and paint points, as he has been one of their more efficient players. In the regular season, the underhit in all four matches and Minnesota will look to replicate that energy and game plan to force a low-scoring affair on Tuesday night. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.